Hello there, I'm VK here. Thank you for joining me in a new video session. This video will show you how to transfer your tickets from your existing help desk application into Services Plus. Services Plus allows you to import requests from the spreadsheet. Follow the sequence of steps shown in this video to transfer the data. Step 1. Export the required data from your existing tool in a CSV or Excel format and keep it ready. Step 2. Modify the Excel sheet column headers and its data to match the field name and its value as supported in Services Plus default incident form. If any of the fields or values are not matching, then create the required fields and values in Services Plus and plan the data import. For example, if there is an issue category called printer in your existing system, then add the printer to the category list in Services Plus. In another example, let's say your existing system has walk-in as request mode type. Then up and walk into the mode type in Services Plus and import the data. Step 3. Set all the created, resolved and closed date and time values as per the date and time format supported by Microsoft Excel. Or you could define it in the displayed format. Step 4. Finally save the spreadsheet with .xls extension. Step 5. Disable notification settings and survey settings before importing the records. Otherwise, it would trigger unnecessary email notifications to the users. Step 6. Turn off the request closure rules before importing the records. If there is any mismatch with the rules while importing the resolved and closed records, then the system will set the request status as open. Step 7. It is better to delete or deactivate the default service level agreement rules set in Services Plus. If not, the system will set a different due by time to the imported records when it matches its criteria. We are now ready to import the records. Open the Services Plus application and access the Request tab. You will find Import Request option under Actions drop down menu. Choose the Excel file and map the appropriate fields and column headers. Click on Import button. Since I have already turned off the notifications and survey settings, I'll be proceeding with the import operation. Now we have successfully imported the records. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned.